Welcome to Back to the Bible. You are listening to A Time to be Renewed by Warren Wiersbe. March 9th, making the best use of time. If you want to make the best use of the rest of your time, live in the light of the return of Jesus Christ. All Christians may not agree on the details of the event, but we can agree on the demands of the experience. We shall some day actually stand before the Lord. If we are open minded, we will watch unto prayer. The word watch carries with it the idea of alertness and self-control. It is the opposite of being drunk or asleep. This admonition had special meaning to Peter because he went to sleep when he should have been watching unto prayer. You find the phrase watch and pray often in the King James Version of the New Testament. It simply means to be alert in our praying to be controlled. There is no place in the Christian life for lazy, listless, routine praying. We must have an alert attitude and be on guard, just as the workers in Nehemiah's day were. An expectant attitude toward Christ's return involves a serious, balanced mind and an alert, awake prayer life. The test of our commitment to the doctrine of Jesus Christ's return is not our ability to draw charts or discern signs, but is in our thinking and praying. If our thinking and praying are right, our living should be right. Verse for today, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verses 6. Let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. Other scripture, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verses 1 to 24, Mark chapter 14, verses 37 to 40, and Ephesians chapter 6, verses 18. Prepare a reminder that says, perhaps today, place it where you will frequently see it. Thank the Lord that someday he will return. Amen. Back to the Bible, leading people into a dynamic relationship with God.